Hello photography fans and welcome back to another Lensvid review. Today we're taking a look at Manfrotto's Pro Light series bags and hard cases. Let's see what they can do. Today we're taking a look at two backpacks and two hard cases from Manfrotto's Pro Light series bags. The backloader has been one of our daily carries for a few months now. It has traveled to a number of countries and I've carried it on my back extensively while exploring new cities. Both of these backpacks are sturdy, spacious and well designed. They share a similar stylish look and innovations. The hard cases offer a minimalist design but with a few standout features like red latches and a grey Manfrotto tag on the lid. They serve a very different purpose than the backpacks and are very practical and spacious. The cases are made of an impact resistant plastic but are also lightweight and offer interesting features. The flex loader is the bigger one of the two backpacks. It comes with an organizer pouch, a divider for a tablet and an extra pocket for a gimbal that is tucked into an expendable back section when not in use. It also features a more robust backing and hip support. Of course, this adds an extra kilo of weight. The back loader is only a few centimeters shorter than the flex loader, but overall it looks a lot more compact. Even though both of these backpacks are designed to be cabin luggage, the flex loader may raise questions when checking in for some of the shorter flights. With the back loader, I had no trouble bringing it onto airplanes and fitting it in the overhead compartments or even under the seat. Both of the backpacks offer a large front pocket and three small mesh pockets inside the lid. As for the hard cases, only the Tough 55 is cabin luggage. It weighs 4.5 kilos and offers plenty of room for small accessories, lenses and camera bodies. The Tough 83 case offers 79 liters of internal space to transport bigger accessories like tripods, lights and stands. This case is 7.7 .7 kilos which is actually a bit lighter than some of the other similar sized bags that we've worked with. The two backpacks are covered in a water repellent nylon with reinforced stitching. The fabric is easy to clean and doesn't show signs of wear as easily. The outside walls of the backpacks are lined with memory foam for shock absorption and structural endurance. The bottom of the bags features foam bumpers for extra fall protection. Inside, Manfrotto furnished these bags with shock resistant M guard compartments with extra padding. These feel premium and are a lot easier to reposition than regular padded dividers. The hard cases are made of a tough plastic compound that may not look very exciting but is made to withstand falls, dust and water. The back loader has the main access panel in the back and features a quick top access. To protect the front of this backpack when laying it down on the ground there are two small rubber bumpers. After months of use the front of this bag still looks as good as new. Both of these backpacks feature a reinforced back with a padded surface for comfort and a mesh cover for breathability. There are also alternative side handles for an easier carry. The hardware on these bags is extra durable and comes with steel cable zipper pulls. The flex loader is furnished with three tripod straps on the sides and on the front. There's an extra bottom strap for bigger tripods on the sides that can be tucked away when not in use. The quick strap system includes two front straps that set up in seconds by mounting the metal ends through the rubberized slits. Another interesting feature of the flex loader bag is the removable organizer insert. In order to make more room inside the bag and do the velcro sides of the hard back organizer and remove it. The hard cases are very similar in their features. They're both shockproof and IP67 rated for water and dust protection. Both of these cases come equipped with fail proof safety latches, two reinforced padlock eyelets, user replaceable wheels and a special valve to regulate air pressure inside the case while in flight. Manfrotto Tough cases come with a telescoping handle. While it looks very durable, the deployment mechanism isn't the easiest to activate. It's a two-handed operation and it just feels a bit unsophisticated. But then again, it's part of a rugged minimalist design, so it'll just take some getting used to. The Tough 83 also has an extra label holder, two extra handles and features five latches instead of the two on the Tough 55. There are a few external accessories sold separately for the Tough 55 that can carry a laptop or a tripod or add a harness to carry the case as a backpack. The Tough 55 comes with four pre-cut layers of foam so you can customize the layout of the gear that you carry. Alternatively, Manfrotto also sells this compartment system that we found to be very useful. The bigger case doesn't come with either foam or any kind of organizer insert. We would love for Manfrotto to come up with some kind of system for this case as well. We understand that it's more designed for large accessories that don't require any compartments but adding at least a lid organizer would make this case a lot more useful. In conclusion, after using the different bags from Manfrotto's Pro Light series, 
We are impressed with the quality and the design. The backpacks come with standard features like safety lock and rain cover, but also offer innovations in their materials and structure. The hard cases are lightweight, spacious, and durable. With a few extra organizer accessories, these will be very practical in any size production. As for pricing, the flex loader sells for $350, the back loader goes for $200, the Tough 55 case with foam costs $280, and with the divider insert $330, the extra harness for the Tough 55 is $100, and the Manfrotto 83 costs $340. And that is it for our look at Manfrotto's ProLite series bags. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Lopez. The Tough 83 case offers 79 liters of eternal, <coughs> eternal space. Yeah. After months of use, the... F I feel like a flight attendant. The straps fall and you just slide them in.